This video is intended for an audience of age 13 plus. It includes content that some viewers may find disturbing or inappropriate. Viewer discretion strongly advised. DreamWorks Animation has announced a new dragon series titled The Nine Realms. Despite the fact that The Hidden World was supposed to be the conclusion to the franchise, Director Dean DeBleu, which co-directed the first movie and was sole director of the second as well as third, did hint at the possibility that DreamWorks would create spin-offs. We have seen this already with the series Rescue Riders and now with the upcoming Nine Realms. So far, very little has been revealed about this series, except a main human character and a few dragons. Among these dragons is a fury dragon, that's a clear descendant of the Night Lights, the offspring of Toothless and the Light Fury. The Nine Realms is supposed to take place 1,300 years after the events of the Hidden World. This means that all the characters that we've been introduced to so far are dead. However, a Fury Dragon lives. And that's the proof of one thing only. Inbreeding also known as incest. Color genetics can be quite complicated depending on which animal we are dealing with and how many dominant and recessive genes they have. If we look at cats, they have a whole pool of color genes that gets assigned to each kitten at random. Some genes are stronger than others and female color genes tend to be more dominant since the female chromosomes are XX while the males are XY. This means that the two XX chromosomes can carry the same color code, while X and Y chromosomes cannot. However, dragons are not cats. And if we look at reptiles from the real world, their colors tend to be visually present in their parents. This is the same for the fury dragons. The nightlies are the only example we have of fury dragon offspring. It's clear that the black gene is more prominent, since Toothless fathered two dragonlings that were mostly black and only one where the dominant color is white. The Nightlights also makes it apparent to us that the gender has no interference on the color genes assigned to each fetus, since Pouncer, the white dragonling, is a male, while Dart is a female, yet has nearly identical colors to her brother Rough Runner. The bottom line is that if the Night Lights grew up and started reproducing with the other known Light Furies that live within the Hidden World, the black color gene would fade over time, as the white color would become more and more dominant with each generation. Therefore, the only explanation for the existence of this black and white Fury Dragon in modern day is incest. However, we haven't reached the worst part yet. If the nightlights were to breed with each other, the chances of their offspring being malformed or stillborn would be very high. You see, the nightlights share the exact same gene pool since they are siblings. 50% from Toothless and 50 from the Light Fury, meaning that they would pass on the exact same copies of chromosomes to their offspring. This is dangerous, because if there's any fault in any of these chromosomes, there would be no spare set to make up for it, and the offspring could fall terribly ill or have organ failure or fail to live at all. So how to create the most healthy offspring, while still preserving the black gene of the Night Fury? Simple. The female, Dart, has 50% of her father's chromosomes and 50 of the Light Fury, meaning that she only shares 50% identical DNA with her father rather than the 100% with her brothers. Therefore, she would have to reproduce with Toothless, her father, to have a higher chance of surviving offspring. If the two other Nightlights were to do the same with their mother, the Light Fury, the Black Gene would not be as strongly present 
as with toothless and dogs, since the Light Fury doesn't have the black collar gene. The incestuous offspring of father and daughter would go on to further reproduce with their uncles, and possibly their father as well, eventually having to breed with their brothers, nieces, children and grandchildren, leading all the way up to the dragon we see in the Nine Realms. The chance of this creature being healthy is slim. However, we don't know enough about dragon genetics to know for sure what the complications could be. Of course, none of this has to be taken into consideration if we just imagine that other members of the Night Fury species were alive and created offspring as well on their own. However, it has many times been confirmed in the How to Train Your Dragon series that Toothless is the last of his kind. This is what DreamWorks have decided to do with the legacy of How to Train Your Dragon. A vile, incestuous creature that lives in the modern world, off to have its own adventures. I can only express my disgust for the whole affair, knowing the science behind it all. Something that the creators of this show were too lazy to look into. But I can understand the reasoning behind it. At the end of the day, visual media is an industry and like all other industries, it comes down to making money. In all seriousness, please don't take this video too seriously. I just thought it was an interesting topic to discuss, something that I'm pretty sure most people wouldn't think about, but I did think about it because I'm weird, I guess. I thought it'd be interesting to talk about, so please don't take it to heart. Though it is very likely that this is the explanation if we look into uh, scientific reasoning and uh, and so on. But uh, in any case, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you have a wonderful day, night or evening. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you next time. So long.